हेलो गाइस सो आई एम बैक विद अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रिक्रूटमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी अगेन अ कोर कंपनी रिक्रूटमेंट फ्रॉम भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लिमिटेड दैट इज बी एल इट इज अ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया कंपनी देर इज एक्चुअली अ वेरी बिग सेट ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट हैपनिंग फ्रॉम दिस कंपनी सो भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लिमिटेड बेंगलुरु कॉम्प्लेक्स दे आर रिक्रूटिंग द रिक्रूटमेंट अपडेट इज आउट ऑन सिक्स इलेवन दैट इज नवंबर सिक्स दे हैव पोस्टेड दिस रिक्रूटमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू सी दर इज एक्चुअली अ वेरी बिग सेट ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट हैपनिंग फॉर सीनियर ऑपरेशन इंजीनियर फील्ड ऑपरेशन इंजीनियर आई टी सपोर्ट प्रोजेक्ट इंजीनियर ट्रेनिंग इंजीनियर सो दर इज सो मेनी नंबर ऑफ वेकेंसीज अवेलेबल सो दर इज एनी वेरी दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रिक्रूटमेंट दैट इज फ्रॉम द कोर कंपनी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो टेल दी एंड इफ यू आर एलिजिबल यू कैन डेफिनेटली अप्लाई यू कैन ऑलवेज ट्राई योर लक एंड द सैलरी इज वेरी वेरी गुड फॉर सीनियर ऑपरेशन इट इज एटी थाउजेंड फॉर फील्ड इंजीनियर इट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम सिक्सटी थाउजेंड देन फॉर प्रोजेक्ट इंजीनियर फोर्टी थाउजेंड and training agent it is 30000 monthly so let's see how this is is it like a, a permanent job is it like for contract how many years of contract all these things we are going to see how to apply how is the selection process everything we are going to see here so bharat electronics limited uh, bangalore complex is recruiting now uh, they have a project uh, that is happening in the uttar pradesh location and that is a temp on a temporary basis now even even though it is for temporary basis you will get like up to 4 years 5 years of uh, tenure or a duration you will get in this job so it's not like for month uh, month or like 6 months it's like for years so it's like a very good period and the payment is very very good that is the biggest attraction now for which all categories they are recruiting it is for it security and asset manager uh, there is six vacancies mem tech uh, they have given uh, also bb tech bsc etc uh, i mean is eligible it cs ec electronics ent uh, uh, entc and mca is applicable now again for field operation engineer they have given uh, the application is available for two different categories dc support and it staff it support staff it support staff uh, 37 vacancies is available yeah then there is uh, opening for project engineer for content writer and it help desk again 1 and 12 vacancies prost uh, of trainee engineer for district technical support 18 vacancies now if you have a minimum of 1 year of experience you can definitely apply all the qualifications is the same if you have b b tech or bsc or if you have msc or mca you are eligible for this if you have minimum 1 year of experience you can apply here okay let's see which are the streams eligible electrical uh, sorry electronics electronics and communication electronics and telecommunication electrical electrical and electronics computer science computer science and engineering computer science engineering it mechanical engineering computer science information technology and mca is eligible uh yeah these are the streams that are eligible now we're talking about the age limit upper age limit for the senior uh, operations engineer is 45 years field operation engineer it is 40 years project engineer it is 32 years for trainee engineer it is 28 years these are the age limits okay now uh, let's talk about the duration here the duration of the senior uh, engineers or senior project engineers is for two maximum up to four years and for trainee engineers it is like project trainee and trainee engineers it is maximum three year of tenure is available payment is really really good for senior engineers starting payment is 80000 and per month uh, it is like that and every year they will increase 5000 more okay now for field engineer field operation engineer it is 60000 again yearly basis 5000 increment project engineer also 40000 also 5000 increment trainee engineer 30000 starting payment plus 5000 5000 increment okay so that is the case now they have given a very detailed description about the roles and responsibilities and things here you can read it if you are interested into this if you are eligible for this let's talk about the uh, district technical support here just one year of experience is relevant or is required ensure entry of human resource and asset related information in hrms that is uh, human resource related uh, experience they are asking and shall be designated for the technical support you should know about the hardware software it equipment cad these things they 
like basic operations operating system application internet explorer open office antivirus systems those things yeah let's talk about the selection process of the trainee engineers selection of the trainee engineers will be happening through written test the venue of the written test will be intimated after you are uh, getting shortlisted if you are getting short shortlisted they will let you know okay this is the uh, written test venue like that now the written test is 400 marks there is negative marking of 1 by 4 for each wrong answers. Final list of shortlisted candidates shall be drawn in order uh, of merit. The name of the candidates shortlisted for the return test and final selection will be notified on our company's website. So they have given everything in detail. If you are eligible, you will get an email regarding the test venue, uh, details of the exams and everything. If you want a preparation video like how to get selected for BEL, what is the selection process, how generally they conduct the selection and everything. I can make a video on that. It's going to be really useful for people who are eligible and interested. Now, talking about the senior people, like senior project engineers and, and other people, there is direct interview. Uh, sorry, there is also written test. There is also written test for those categories. So everybody has to face a written test followed by interview. 85 percentage of mark is allotted for return test 50 percentage 15 percentage is for interview actually earlier they used to directly hire people through uh, interviews when i was making videos like one year back two year back like that but now they have uh, given the return test also maybe because of the number of applications they are receiving okay so it is a very good thing right yeah now, uh, here they are also mentioned the last day to apply. It is 24th of November. There is actually enough time. So, when I'm making the video, it is only 9th of November. And there is another job opportunity that is also available in the BL uh, site. Uh, I can post that also in the description. But I'm not really going to include that in the video because maybe when I'm uh, posting the video by that time, it will be expired or not. I'm not sure. So, anyway, I'll post that in the description. I think the last date is 11. So here the last date is 24. There is much time. A uh, lot of time actually available here. So please apply. Uh, and try your luck. The documents you have to attach. Talking about the application. Actually you have to go to the site. Uh, in the site you have to fill up online. I will post that link also in the description. Uh, yeah. So that is the most uh, important thing here. Yes, you have to have your SLC certificate. All certificates are required. Yes, now there is also fees for applying. For senior operation, it is 450. Field operation, it is 450 again. Project engineer, 400. For trainee engineer, that is the post which is only asking for just one year of experience. It's just 150 rupees. I know 150 is not small, but as compared to the other, uh, it is lesser. Yes, so it's all about if you have any questions and queries this is the email id to contact so please email them or call them and get all the informations and then if you have any if you need any more clarifications clarify it and then um, proceed with the application that's all for the video if you are looking for a, a vhdl course there is a course already on the channel uh, i mean not on the channel it's like from our channel there is a course on the UW platform, you'll get for affordable price. So please make use of it. Uh, many people have already enrolled. So if, if you have not yet enrolled, it's a good time to enroll. You will get the fundamentals of VHDL programming. That is definitely useful for all the core company preparations. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.